Hello YouTube artist, I'm Kelly Hernig and welcome to In The Studio. Today I have such a beautiful palette for you to experience with me. It's called The Cloud by Ocean Paper. It is a little expensive, but I just celebrated 28 years as a full-time artist and treated myself to it. So let's dive in and see what beautiful colors we get to explore together. I wanted to introduce you to the Ocean Paper Cloud Palette, C-L-O-U-D. And this is what the palette looks like. Isn't it beautiful? It's handmade watercolors from Hawaii. And I just celebrated 28 years as a full-time artist. So I splurged and bought myself the Cloud Palette. I've been wanting it for a while now. It's been on my list and they finally restocked it. So I was thrilled to be able to purchase it. These are what the colors look like all laid out. And I've moved them around. I like to put them in order the way I will use them. And I wanted to share this with you first. So let's go over the colors here. Let me bring that up. So it is from left to right, seashell, sandstone, mollusk, burnt rose, burnt sienna dark, night dune, limonite, golden olive, green gray, slate green, shale, overcast, ash blue light, seafarer, and copper green dark. Isn't that an interesting palette? I think the colors are just really beautiful. There's a lot of really muted colors, which of course is why I bought it. I loved all of these. <laughs> these two I'm not too sure about, but I will find a use for them for sure. I really like this overcast. It's, it's kind of a cloudy blue, and it's one that I really don't have in my palette, so I'm, I'm excited to play with that one. But what we're gonna do today is I found this leaf yesterday. Isn't it the ugliest leaf ever? <laughs> it's just so pathetic looking, but that's the leaves that I am most connected to. I love if they're tattered and tangled and mangled, and this one definitely is. So I have this drawn right here like this. And then I am doing this little fox. Look how cute he is. He's just a little figurine that I got from somewhere. But I've got him drawn kind of right here. He's a little smaller, but I love the composition and I'm going to explore these kind of colors for the fox. And I want to add some of the blue, the purple, and the greens for the leaf. I really like how ugly that is. It kind of looks like it's moldy. Let me bring that up so you can see. See all the spots and just all the discoloration and all the scratches? So I'm gonna play around with some salt today and I wanna see how Ocean Paper Watercolors does with applying salt. And this is just regular table salt. I keep it in just an airtight container so that moisture doesn't get into it. So I've got that close by. And we're gonna work on the leaves first and I'm just going to play with colors. I just want to add some color mixes, wet on wet. I don't want it to have like an overall green. I just want to play and see what it does. With handmade water, watercolors too, they kind of want you to put water down on them. I haven't done that, so let me do that first. Especially the colors that I'm going to use here. Okay, I've got some of the blue. I like that blue a lot. The overcast is what it's called. It's a different color for a leaf, but I think it'll be fun to play with. I just laid the leaf on my paper and I traced it on. Need a little more water. I always forget to add water <laughs> to watercolor, which is ridiculous, but that's what I do. I like this kind of pea soup yellow. Bring you a little closer. I 
but adding wet on wet, they're just kind of merging with each other, which I like. I like to see how different brands, some colors are really pushy and some aren't. So I'm just seeing which these are. These colors are very much alike. One's a little greener, one's a little bluer, but I like that I've got the extreme over there. So this one I want to kind of keep a little lighter. I've got my vein lines drawn in, so I'm trying to keep the colors kind of around that. I am going to splash a little. I also don't know how well these splash, so I want to make sure that I see that. I'm going to take a little bit of that overcast color, and I want to just dot some in here to see what happens. I'm loving those combinations, and I want to put some salt up there. When applying salt, you want to make sure that there's not a standing puddle. If there is, it won't really work. I'm just going to play with the watercolor while you listen to a little music and watch it develop. I'm using salt, water splashes, and just about every muted color from the palette. Wow, <laughs> I'm already loving just the different colors. And you can see I'm just kind of dabbing in and out. I just really want to play with the colors and see what they can do.
that leaf has turned out. So now we're going to do the little fox. And the fox I want to do in these kind of colors here. I want to add a little bit of the sandstone and the mollusk and then get into this burnt sienna dark. And I might touch a little bit of this color or one of the greens in there just to dull it a little bit. But I want to keep him fairly in the oranges like a fox is. is my finished fox with leaf and I love exploring all of these colors. It was just so fun mingling them and trying them in different spots. I like that you know the olive green you really see. I love this touch of the ash blue light throughout the looks a little purplish but I enjoyed playing with all of the muted colors and the fox was a nice addition too. So let me bring you up so you can see all the texture that the salt created and the water splashing created. It was really just a lovely mix. So you see all these little like blooms like that? That is the salt crystals. See where they almost fracture a little bit? And the water splashes are more like this. So they're more pop puddle-like, where these are more crystal-like. So the crystal-like is the salt. If you were inspired by today's color play with the Ocean Palette Cloud watercolor set, please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.